How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can change your router's IP address or as you may call it, your local IP address or just generally your IP address. You can go to any IP address finder and check for it. You know, you can go to your uh, command prompt, for example, and just type IP config and you'll be able to uh, see what your IP address is like. Or you can simply go to Google Chrome or any browser and just type in what is my IP or any IP address finder and you'll be able to tell what your IP address is. Now, before I begin, if you guys are interested in the links, the pricing or discounts or full reviews of the VPNs mentioned today, you'll find everything you need in the description down below. And yes, we are going to talk about VPNs later on. But before that, let's just get to the uh, other ways you can change your IP address, which are also free. Now, depending on the reasoning behind changing your IP address, you might select a method over the other. And some of these reasons may include, you know, accessing content online, which is otherwise restricted in your physical location. For example, accessing Netflix's US library while you're on a trip abroad. Another reason might be that you can't connect to Wi-Fi and you don't know why. Um, you're, or you just want to prevent tracking and leave no digital footprint. Um, you might want to also avoid throttle from your internet service provider or ISP, or you just want to encrypt your data for increased security and data protection, especially when on public Wi-Fi's. You might want to bypass firewalls um, or fix an incorrectly configured IP address. Uh, you might want to use a router which is providing unusable IP addresses, or it could be that two devices on your network share the same IP address and you want to change it so that you don't get linked to the activity of the other IP address. Now, while just simply changing your IP address without a VPN can tend to these reasons, but of course, if you're trying to uh, bypass your restrictions, firewalls, or just access streaming services that are not available in your local location, um, and if you want to encrypt your data, you're not going to be able to do that by simply uh, changing your IP address. Now, there are some simple ways to change your IP address, and I'll get into that before talking about the VPNs. But what you can do is just simply switch networks. It is the simplest way to change your IP address uh, of the device you're using. For example, if you're browsing on your home Wi-Fi connection uh, on your smartphone, you can just turn the Wi-Fi setting off and use mobile data. And this will change your IP address because a different one is assigned for each network connection. Another thing you do is reset your modem. When you reset your modem, this will also reset the IP address. Simply unplug the modem for at least 30 seconds, plug it back in and connect as you normally would. Now, if you find that the same IP address is still being assigned, try leaving it off for a longer period of time. At times, you might have to even leave it off overnight uh, in order to get the ISP to assign you a new IP address. Because during the time when you're not using your IP address, it might get assigned to somebody else near you and you'll get a new IP address. What you can also do is use a proxy server. Now, the problem with proxy servers is that they're not encrypted, but you can change the proxy settings in your web browser settings so that it automatically configures. Or you can just go to your settings, hit proxy settings right here. Oops, proxy settings. And through the proxy settings, you can turn it on and bring the IP address as well as port and just put them right here and click save and you're good to go. That's how you can change your IP address. But the problem with proxy uh, IP addresses is that they are, for the most part, public IP addresses and they're not encrypted. So they're not really safe. And you want to be very careful with using these IP addresses because since they're free, they could be also used by uh, people that may be engaging in suspicious activities. Another way to change your IP address is by using the Tor uh, browser, which is, of course, a very reliable way of hiding your uh, data. But because of its anonymity, it is usually a associated with illicit activities. Uh, and while the ISP and the authorities can't really tell what you're doing over on the Tor browser, they can tell that your IP address, your real IP address is connected to the Tor browser, which is why it's very important to uh, combine the Tor browser with a reliable VPN. Okay, and another way to change your IP address is just simply call up your ISP and ask them to change your IP address. Now, if none of these methods are uh, suitable for you and you are indeed uh, looking to access content online from Netflix or Hulu, um, you're trying to protect yourself and encrypt your data.
data or you want to bypass censorship firewalls, these methods unfortunately will not work. And this is where a VPN comes in handy. Uh, of course, when it comes to using a VPN, it is as simple as it gets. Now, I'm not in New York, but I am connected to a New York server. And that's why the internet and my browser and my entire network is treating me as if I'm in New York. Now, let's say I feel like being in Australia because I want to watch some Australian show. It's as simple as just changing to that location. And when I refresh my IP finder right here, it will treat me as if I'm in Australia now. So it's as simple as that. What is my IP address? What does Google think? It thinks I am in Australia because it's using the same IP address. And it really is as simple as it gets when it comes to using uh, these VPNs and using these VPNs to change your IP address reliably. Now, how do you know which one is the best for you? I have three suggestions here based on uh, their security features, their streaming and torrenting capabilities, their privacy policies. And after using these VPNs, I've been using them for a couple of years now, I can tell you for sure that these VPNs are super reliable. And that's exactly why I chose them. Now, if you'd like more information on these VPNs, I'd recommend watching the reviews below. I don't want to make this video too long. But overall, uh, if you want the best of the best and you prioritize privacy and bypassing censorship firewalls and just the best no locks policy you can find on the Internet, uh, I would just go with ExpressVPN. If you'd like something that's a little bit more budget friendly and gives you a whole bunch of extra features here and there, uh, I would recommend NordVPN, especially if you prioritize speed over everything and a whole bunch of servers. You know, you've got over 3000 servers in 94 countries with ExpressVPN and over 5200 servers in 60 countries, however, with NordVPN. Uh, and Finally, if you're looking for the best budget friendly option, you can go with Surfshark with over 3,200 servers in 65 countries. ExpressVPN will allow you to secure up to five devices per subscription, six devices with NordVPN, and an unlimited number of devices with Surfshark, which makes it a very good option for you guys that don't want to spend as much, but also want to share this account uh, with as many friends and family members as you would like. Again, all these VPNs have independently audited no logs policies. So you know that these VPNs have evidence to back up their privacy policy claims. And of course, they have a 30 day money back guarantee in case you're not satisfied with any of the services for whatever reason. Uh, of course, you can get these refunds through the 24 seven live chat support. Uh, it's very easily accessible and they'll refund you within three to four business days if you're not satisfied with the service for whatever reason. So be sure to check the link in the description for a little discounts. Feel free to take advantage of those. And I'd also recommend checking out the reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs. That's it for this video. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.